Welcome to Four Brewers. My name is Matt Becker. As always, I'm joined by John Holzer, Jason Harris, Greg Nagel. And once again this week, we're joined by our friends uh, Natalie to Nicholas. Hi. Hello. And our friend John Wrighty. Hi. Hola. Um, we've got some fun, soury, <laughs> happy type beers in this week. Yes, we do. But we also... Some of them are happy. Some of them are not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we also well, have some. Some of these things are not like the others. Some of these things have got more hops. Mailbag. Mailbag. I'm sorry, what? we have a mailbag. I don't, I, <laughs> <laughs> that was my fault. All right. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, John. What do we what do we have again? Mailbag. 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 The volume was down on my iPad. <laughs> my oh, <laughs> iPad. All right, so we have a mailbag from uh, Nate. B, I'll say. What's up, Nate B? It's the subject Nate is B. first foray to the West Coast. Oh and shit! And says, "Hey there, four brewers. First off, love the show. Us Thank too. you. Thanks. Thank you. We like doing it. Uh, been listening since the beginning, and you certainly have helped with my transition into full beer geekery. Sweet. Uh, parentheses call it snobbery, but screw them. Yeah. <laughs> well. Um, and better home brewing skills. After a couple trips this year." On the East Coast, exploring some great breweries here, I'm making my first foray to the West Coast for a business trip slash vacation. I'll be in San Francisco. I don't know how much time I will have, but if you could recommend, let's say, three breweries I have to visit, what would they be? And don't worry, Golden Brett, I'll be visiting the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. So, if we, because he has other questions, I think, but if we... Three breweries in the Bay to visit. My I mean, you kind of have to go to Russian River if you've never been. Yeah, I mean, like, it's 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 just close enough. It's like yeah, what, like an hour, hour outside yeah, the city, yeah. something like that. Faction. Um, it, so the question becomes, right? Like, are you in San Francisco with a car and you can go wherever you need to go, or do you need to like stay in the city? Because everything there's not like this cluster of breweries that are all twenty minutes or you know all within couple miles of each other they're all right. kind of spread out all around mm-hmm. the bay yeah. if i had to go to one i would say 21st <laughs> amendment would be my first stop i'm talking about and the, then their their pub or yeah their yeah. pub in san francisco and then mm-hmm. uh from there you can kind of set a quest and uh maybe go i would do magnolia magnolia is great as my second and, and it's also that's also in Haight ashbury which yep. is like touristy it's a rat area so, too yeah for sure so you can kill a lot of birds with that one stone going yep. to that brewery and if you're in Haight ashbury stone is probably what you're going to be Pretty much, <laughs> you're gonna be pretty stoned yeah. on the weed. <laughs> my my <laughs> the marijuana's. <laughs> my personal opinion on on the bay. Um, I'm not a big fan of 21st Amendment. I, I went there and was very unimpressed oh, with yeah. the beer and the facility and the, right. just not super into it. Well, pfft. Anchor is really worth seeing. It, yes, but you have to schedule an book appointment it. to go there. Yeah, that would so, that would be my other one. Um, yeah. you really, really out. cool brewery. Just unlike any other brewery you're ever going to see. So, just going on the tour to see the brewery alone is worth it. At Anchor. Yeah. Um, if you're staying close to the bay and you're not heading out to Russian River or anywhere there. Um, Drake's is one of my favorites. Um, yeah, Drake's is yeah. good too. And they've got they've they got a brand new facility now in Oakland, just across the bridge. So, nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and some of the other guys who I haven't been to, but are kind of almost must stops now, are like Rare Barrel, which is wow. right over Rare Berkeley, Berkeley. Awesome. In, in Berkeley. Yeah. Uh, who on this show actually? Um, and uh, Cellar Maker is in the city proper. Cellar um, Maker is one that I hear a lot. Yeah. Like especially from guys around that area. Cellar Maker seems like a brewer's brewery. You yeah, know what I mean, that's yeah. where it's. The, they make great beer, and a lot of the local brewers are like, "Yeah, cellar makers." They don't the, package the a lot. Of it. It's just like come get a growler fill and. Have I nice know day. Jesse Jesse Friedman from from Almanac is a big fan of cellar maker. <laughs> yeah, they, actually, they I've got the first a, bottles uh, ever. Yeah, yeah, but, I've got a I've got a layover in. Um, uh, San Francisco next week, so I hit Jesse up, and he was like, "Can you go to Cellar Maker?" And I'm like, ah, "I don't have enough time." Yeah. But that was the first thing that he said. A so. couple other stops, though, besides the breweries, highly recommend Toronado. Absolutely. Uh, uh, there. Nope, not with you on that one at all. Right. all Toronado right. sucks balls. Actually, really? it sucks. I, like, I fucking hate that place. Yeah, I've been well, there, there twice, okay. hey, and hey, it was San Francisco. Too- <laughs> No. <laughs> Let's relax. It doesn't. No. Oh, wow. There's an attitude at Tornado, definitely. That's, especially, that's true. Especially Tornado, San Francisco. And it's all metered street parking, which sucks. And if you yeah. if like you go to Tornado, Tornado, San Diego, Tornado, Seattle, they're run by different people. Oh yeah, it's Ra- a different it's a different, different scene. So for sure, yeah. No, the tor- the, the tor- I've, right. I've had a couple of <laughs> negative experiences. Okay. Okay. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I went, <laughs> I, can, on, I can see why you would have that. Attitude. At, at, it's in, at the San Francisco location. I mean, it's one of those things that, like, you know, especially if you are relatively fresh into craft beer geekery. I mean, it's such like a landmark, 
and it's been around for so long and it's been so deep in the culture for so long right. that I can understand wanting to pay a visit. But um, bring, I cash. Would, bring cash, bring yes. cash, bring cash. And they probably have a pretty great tap list that you could probably get in a lot of other places. So they've got history going for them. It's, yeah, this, a, it's a great spot to hang out. It's got a nice vibe and nice atmosphere, yeah. but it's it's very punk rock and kind of, they got a lot of attitude. It's old school. I mean, if you're, if you're there with Matt Becker, then go to City Beer Store. Yes. Instead. Absolutely. City Beer, um, City Beer is right. It's expensive, but Mikler Bar is really cool. Mikler, Mikler Bar, yes. Yeah. 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 Mikler Bar is great. I um, love that place. It's, Zeitgeist it, is the other one. It's a very awesome juxtaposition of being incredibly expensive, but in the worst, shittiest ghetto neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where you'll pay like... Twelve dollars a pour, and then go outside, and a homeless person will ask you for money. Yeah, yeah. But will it be cheaper than the beer you just bought? Yeah, exactly. Maybe buy the homeless guy a beer. Just saying. Right. <laughs> this is um, Cantillon, bro. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, so you're hungry. Like this is Fufoon. <laughs> <laughs> Batch one Fufoon. Biolambic, motherfucker. <laughs> so, um, yeah, God, the the options are really Zeitgeist, infinite. Uh, is is cool too. Yeah. yeah. I'm not familiar with that place. No. There's a, there's, it's been there there's for a so long much, time. Monk's Kettle. There's so much also in Berkeley, though. That yeah. is, it's so easy Torpedo to... Torpedo Room? Yeah, the, so so easy to get to Horrible. on what's public the, transport. Yeah, what's the brew pub in Berkeley that I can never remember the name of, but like everybody's brewed there? No? Am I alone on this? There's oh, one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's yeah, so many there. Why, why can I not remember the name? It's not, it's not it, Marin, uh, no, or, I know what you're talking about. Sudwork. Oh, uh, it's not Sudwork. No, not Sudwork. Sudwork is in. Um, is yeah. Is it? Uh, it starts with an you guys, A. You guys, right? carry, you guys carry on and all. Uh, yeah. Right. Why yeah. cannot we? We are um, bad beer geeks. Also, if you're up in that area and you're the kind of person who considers yourself um, into like the big hype kind of beer, and you're driving. Santia Darius is about an hour yeah, south. Yeah, for sure. Um, Triple Rock. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Triple, Triple Rock, Rock has oh, been yeah. around forever. Yeah, I went there. I went there. They're really like, good. They, like, it, you, a lot of, like, random brewers just go up there because they're the same thing. They're like a legacy brew pub. Mm -hmm. They've been there forever. So, mm -hmm. yeah, great Sean place. from uh, 21A came from uh, Triple Rock. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah a few different breweries. Like, you hear that a lot where brewers that are brewing at places you love now kind of went through there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a turnstile brewery. Yeah, for sure. So, Nate, thanks for the question. Um, made that there up. was some more to the email about sending us some uh, Rochester beer, which we would love to get if you want to send it. Yes. So, uh, yeah. I think he had a. Did he have a request? He wanted. Uh, he, he, he wanted. He wanted Golden Brett voice. He wanted but to hear from little... Golden Brett. Let, yeah. Let's see. No, okay. Are, do you he's really want to attempt this he, right now? Fine. Because you're uh, you're a little under the weather. No, we'll see how it goes. Okay. <clears throat> Jason P, guess what? You lost! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Golden Brett's been down in the mine a little too long. <laughs> He's got the black line. I, I actually, yeah, I was going to say, I actually think Golden Brett's a little bit better with a little yeah, scratch yeah, to it. Yeah, I kind of uh, went with it. Uh, you know, canary in the mine shaft. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Jason, what do, you, uh, what do you got in your hand there? Um, well, let's start this off with the least sour. This is more of just kind of a funky farmhouse. Uh, yeah, we've, soul we've, fooder. Soul fooder from our friends over at Monkish. We got all kinds of like fun sour beers uh, going on in this show. But, just because. Um, and this one's yeah. the least sour, just to start it off. It is a beer de garde aged in white wine oak fooder for 16 months. And nice. as fooder duders, it's in our wheelhouse. Definitely. It's in the wheelhouse of fooder duders. Um, goddamn monkish and their deliciousness. Yeah. For real. Just, just yeah. stop. Like, I mean, just, they, it's like everything that they do, even they're putting freaking IPA now. Can we talk about this for a second? We're, oh, we're yes. drinking one of their sour beers, but like, goddamn, like, they uh, have really kind of um, grabbed on to the, like, cloudy East Coast IPA type of thing and ran with it, and they are just crushing. Yeah, they've done one every week for the last three weeks, and um, they've been pretty nuts. Go big or go home. Um, well, I mean, if you think about it, and you have a brewery, and you have beers that are spending 16 months in barrels, I mean, what are you doing with your brew house while you wait for that beer? You got to yeah. brew something else. Make an IPA. Sure. Yeah, you got to brew something. Turn some mm -hmm. beer over. Exactly. And they're killing it. Uh, and this? Yeah, because so, I've seen people complain where they're like, oh, but I like that Monkish is the brewery that makes this and that. I'm like, the, they're just doing both now. They like, do they, that they too. didn't stop yeah. making Belgians or. Well, Farmhouse beer. It's, here's the it's thing. Not, it's like, not. Go ahead, Greg. Oh, I was gonna say here's a here's a beer that took 18 mm. months to make, and here's a beer that took 18 days. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're not phoning in their IPA either. No, like they're making really really good IPA. So I don't think I've had a bad monkish beer. 
Yeah, me neither. Actually, yeah. I've had some that I've liked more than others, right, right. but but um, nothing that's been like oh, nothing. I've God. been like, I gotta get rid of this. Right. Yeah. Oh, this smells. I'm gonna get fruity. rid of this feminist. Yeah. Mm. You know, mm. it's real. Yeah, pl- it's, it's real plummy. This is lovely. It pours a, like a real caramel color, um, cloudy kind of caramel. Bit of Thank a red, you for reddish it correctly tint. as well. By the way, thanks. Plummy. Thanks. No. You caramel. mean car- caramel? Caramel. It's caramel. <laughs> Not caramel. It's caramel. 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 There's an extra A in there. There's an A in it. FYI. I am caramel. It's it's caramel. There's an A in a lot of words. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking A. (laughs) The words of wisdom from (laughs) John. Touche. Touche. There are A's. You know, I was looking at a dictionary and it turns out (laughs) A's used quite uh, prophetically in in a lot. Apple. Yes. It, it, Asshole. It, it is quite Asshole. literally in a lot. Anus. A nagel. Aviation. Oh, sh- no, don't shush. Yes. <laughs> Natalie has two. You um, it's got like a toasty malt thing <laughs> happening too, which I like quite a bit. It I'm seems dig- like this. I'm is digging like, on this. It seems like this is like super like Flemish ready type of vibe. And I think like they're, they're using their house for. culture on this one. They've yeah. developed kind of a Brett mixed culture that they're using for all their beer now. <laughs> Or for a lot of their beer. I get this like, apple pie thing on the nose. Like, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah. Like spicy and like, oh, there's like a lot of like a that kind of biscuity, crackery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pastry like, note. Yeah, exactly. Like green pastry, apple pie. Like a, pastry, like a tart apple pie. Green not a, apple not pie. Not a Dutch apple pie. A, no, a, fuck the, the Dutch, granny, Like a granny, granny <laughs> Hey, hey, hey yes, easy with the sh- Dutch. We should fuck the Dutch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, we don't. We, we like the Dutch. Okay. Oh, I like the Dutch. I like, um, dub- I like double Dutch. Do. do you mean Dutch Arnold Schwarzenegger's Dutch. character from Predator? No. The double Dutch. <laughs> Did not realize that was his name in Predator. <laughs> yeah. It was. Oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the chopper. Yeah. Got it. That was the That's worst. the movie too, right? <laughs> I was in Puerto Vallarta really, when they filmed really, that. You really got to work. I'm what? sorry. I was, in, I was 16 years old and I went to uh, Puerto Vallarta and they were filming Predator. Really? In the jungle, yeah. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, all those people stayed in our hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be hey, confused Arnold. with the time that Greg was on to uh, catch a predator. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> with John Stossel. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's not John Stoss. <laughs> That's the only news know. person I know. What's that guy's name? Oh, Fuck, I don't know. Chris Hansen. There he's yeah, that's it. That's the guy. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Greg. How have you been diddling people? Nope. <laughs> we got no this, diddling. We got this video of you, Mr. Greg. <laughs> and why in, is it that I you brought the, the pomegranate Smirnoff ice today? <laughs> It's so delicious. You're gonna get iced. I just Jason. like I just like Paul Credit. That's why. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Matt, Matt is thinking, Jesus Christ. I'm having no, I'm having no part in this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just want to drink the beer. So I think saying it's got a Flemish red character is on point. Oh, oh, yeah, it's not a sour. Red. Not a sour though. It's not a sour. It doesn't have the acidic thing. Maybe like a tad, but um, it's 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 a more Americanized version. It's and it's a little bit drier. I think um, I prefer it. A I nice like Americanized version. oak character to it too. It, it, it's unusual in beer these days because everyone's so high on bourbon barrels to get just oak. Yeah, yeah it's like, especially nice French oak, oak that vanilla yeah. yeah. type yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this is wonderful. Like, like I a, love this beer. It's like a tart Pretty sherry. Yeah. Um, soul fooder, man. I feel it. Mm. I'm in, digging in, it. In, in my soul. I want to put it into my soul. <laughs> in your soul fooder. So what's next? Put it in um, hurt locker. We have a pair of... Put sound. a little fooder in your soul. Put a little fooder in your butt. Um, <laughs> no. we, have a, we, have a, we have a pair of... What? They might be Giants reference. Um, we have a pair of sour <laughs> hoppy beers. Sour. Is this sour IPA? Uh, sour IPA. Uh, no, it's not fucking ish. sour. I don't know. But what is it, right? You have to make up a new style name. And, and as long then, as it has IPA. And then it. people What's, from Oregon are like, we have what we call it, and we want it to be that. And everyone's like, Ugh. it's a, it's a, it's it's a, a Cascadian a, sour ale. Yeah. So the first thing I thought of when I heard sour IPA is Almanac. They already do sour beer, and they already hop the shit out of their sour beer. They Isn't don't that, call it a sour. Could you IPA, call though. that a sour IPA? No. Here's or are you just um, tr- why not? Because are you just because trying to it, make up a new category. Yeah, because it hits like one of the beats where it's hoppy, but there are so many other things that it's got to be to call it an IPA. You know. Here's the thing, man. Did it ride on a boat to India? It's a marketing mm. meeting in a fucking can. Dude. Exactly for real. It's like um, what? What are the two? Biggest hyped styles of beer on the market right now. Sours and IPAs. Ding, 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 yeah. ding. IPA. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Put well, but them together the... and you're like, 
Oh my god, it's like fucking a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. See, like, here, the, the thing is though, too, is like everyone's like, this is a brand new thing. Like, what about Eric's ale? Or was it Eric's ale or Le Terroir? Le Terroir. Le Terroir. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was uh, an Amarillo oh, hop sour ale. Yeah. That was from like four or Miss, five years yeah. ago. Yeah. That was fucking fantastic. It's and so awesome. it, it now comes out was, every year. It's yeah. delicious. Yeah. And so, like, well, that's when it first came out. It was like four yeah, or five yeah. years ago, right? So, like, everyone's like, this is a new thing. It's like, no, it's not. Just this calling is, this is just the thing that people are pi- finally catching on to that could be awesome. The one we're drinking right now, by the way, is from Epic out Epic. of uh, Utah. Although, aren't they kind of in Colorado now? Yeah, like, they have a brewery in well, Colorado. This says Denver, Denver, Colorado. Yeah, they like made, they were like, we're tired of dealing That's with their Utah thing. laws. and we're Brewed going, and packaged by Epic Brewing Company, Denver, Denver Colorado. Like, fucking yeah, because they released a beer to celebrate called Escape to Colorado or some shit like that. That was <laughs> like talking about that they left Utah because Utah. I'm actually getting a photo I took of Escape to Colorado in a book. Oh, nice. Yeah, by wow. Joshua Bernstein. Wow. Second wow. time being in one of his Was books. Was that uh, from our GABF trip? Uh, I actually sat at his table for the media luncheon. Okay. I, I was already in, well, I took uh, pictures of Dr. Bill Seller were, were in one of his books. Okay. Nice. And I was there last minute, and they sat me next to him, and I didn't know anybody at the table. And he's like, aren't you John Holzer? I'm like, <laughs> uh-huh. he is. <laughs> like, I use some of your pictures in my book. I'm like, oh, sweet. Thanks, homie. So, uh, well, on the can it says uh, we've combined the clean, puckering tartness of kettle souring with an abundance of juicy citrus driven oh, hops God. to create a beer that's best of both worlds. They're hitting Marketing. all Tart the words. juicy. They are. Target. They I are like really how offended hitting. you guys are by just juice as a concept at this point. <laughs> You're just like, you open your fridge and you see orange juice and like, you fucking hipsters. <laughs> I don't think I'm offended. I'm not drinking your apple juice. Fuck trendy, you, Minute Maid. Trendy fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Tree top, you're out of here. <laughs> Fuck you too, Sunny D. You're just a pretender. Well, I mean, Sunny that D even, is. Sunny it D really is. is. It's Sunny diacetyl. More Don't they add? Mind. They add milk to it. They like they like they wow. add a um a dairy based something or other to it. Really? To make it creamier. Weird. Yeah. Oh. That's weird I think I'm yeah. pretty sure. Well, because it doesn't it sit warm like Sunny D. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. No, it doesn't. Well, it's also like super duper pasteurized. pasteurized. Yeah. yeah, they pasteurize yeah. the shit out but of that. But it's so is milk. You can't leave it out warm. We can get pa- what do you think, Greg? You can get UHD milk, which is ultra heated. This beer, I, get, hmm. I get a little burnt rubber on the nose, uh, but it might get, just be chock full of bread. No, I think you're right. I, so excited I to drink this now. Thank you. Uh, hey, burnt rubber. I get arm oh, pity no, papaya. Arm pity papaya. Yeah, I like that. It, 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 that's what I'm getting. It's more of like a funky fruit. Yeah, it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> like, have you ever had a papaya? It's like, like papaya. Right yeah, papaya. No, that's it's dead like, on. Wow, man. Or like something something that's been on the fire. But so yes. almost, it's yeah. almost like that um like a over toasted marshmallow. Yeah, only not pleasant. Like burnt marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And it is tart. You know, it's got some acidity and to it. Yeah, 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 I think I think the tire thing is a really good because it smells kind of dirty. Oh, this is not good. No. It just, it just smells really like Arm-pity. I don't think I don't think it's real juicy. Smell like my Uber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so far I'm not sold. Yeah, on the bike tire. I'm not a fan of this one. Yeah, the bike tire, and that's uh, hard to get over. It smells like my car after I've driven all the way out here. Yeah, it's not. Um, that's just the IE. I'm going to go out there. And, <laughs> <laughs> that's just my car dying. I'm going to go out there and smell like, your car. Smell like burning oil. <laughs> <laughs> like burning just oil and valves. Gr- grab your beer, dying. run out there now, valves. and do do a side by side. All right. <laughs> it's like it's like not really sour, but it's sticky. So it like sticks in your Ooh. mouth. With its badness, yeah, it's... Um, and not like his royal badness, but just badness. The burnt rubber thing was spot on, John. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. and it, it just burnt rubber stinks, and this beer it, stinks. The finish on it's just all wrong too. Yeah, it's. I don't. It's I don't not get enjoyable. any part of IPA out of this. No, me neither. Yeah, no. it's it tastes it's like idea. stanky sour. I don't know. I'm gonna. So, I, there's a hop character there. It's just a. Oh, well, the hop character is there for sure. Yeah. It's just a, it, it tastes, if you've had Le Terroir, like these are that same kind of flavor profile, but I feel like this isn't done nearly but as yeah, well. This is, this is just done with extraordinarily poor execution. I don't yeah. think that beer stinks like this beer, though. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this beer, it, I'm, I'm not saying this beer stinks. See, it's a double entendre. No, it stinks. It actually stinks. It doesn't smell good. Yeah, so, I'm not getting that as much. Some stink. Like I said, I'm getting right. that kind of papaya funk to it where it's kind of... Like fruit buddy, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. oh, it's your little fruit buddy. <laughs> like a fruit butt. Um, <laughs> oh, fruit butt. Oh, fruit a, butt. Tea. I would call yeah. this fruit buddy, not a front butt. 
If a, if a fruit farted, I yeah. It's a fruit, buddy. The thing about <laughs> a guess, front butt, it's only fruit farts. Yeah. The thing about a front butt is you can't tell if you're coming or going. Like dry, oh, okay, geez. it's like opening up a bag of dried apricots, the sulfured kind. So yeah. it has that sulfury smell. Yeah, that it, kind and, of really. And that's sweet, a lot like burnt rubber. Sweet, yeah, tart. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and it's something I kind of smell every yeah. day at work. You know, being in auto repair. Yeah, it's you're very familiar with that. I am that and plastic. Yes. Can you explain what's wrong with my car then? Because it smells like this beer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just don't drink so much Probably. beer in your car. It's your timing uh, belt. I mean, no, I mean the engine, the actual uh, engine. Your, it's, it's your the inside of my belt. car smells like a whole lot of other weird things. Yeah. But the okay. engine smells like this beer. Uh, what do we got next, Jason? Our next beer, which has a very cool can, uh, is from Odd 13 Brewing in uh, Lafayette, Colorado. A friend of mine mule these back from Colorado when he's just there. Um, they refer to this as an American Session Sour. It is 4.7% with Citra and Mosaic hops, two-row and wheat. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, All right. Let's, sounds uh, good on paper. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a fair description. The uh, labels does it are, say juicy? Uh, no. Okay, good. So I mean, you guys probably <laughs> will like it. You saw the word juicy, and you're like, let's think of some negative shit Wow, to that say. is like one SRM, two? Yeah. yeah light it, straw? It, yeah, it's so colored. light. A little foggy, very straw like. Uh, it's like if Who like Garden lemonade. was like, they looked at Who Garden and they're like, wow, you got a nice tan. <laughs> this, beer is, this beer is god. Now, this this encapsulates like go. fresh hops on that's, the nose. That's hitting the nose, fresh hops in the nose. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, yeah, that that's way more what I was expecting the last one to be. You know what it smells? Hmm. Juicy. <laughs> I think it smells like wheelhouse. Um, um it actually smells like an IPA. But yeah, it, it smells similar to sour beers that are, you know, overly dry hop. That are dry hop, oh, yeah. It tastes good, too. Yeah? Yep. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, I still uh, yeah. don't understand good. what the difference would be oh, between wow. a sour... That one is good. Dry hopped IPA. The, the yeah. mouthfeel carries it. Yeah, it's 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 mm. got a good mouthfeel. It's, it's got a, just a night light tartness. Super grapefruity. Yeah, the tartness is... It's not... I wouldn't call it a sour ale. I mean, it's, well, not, it's not over it's the top. It's very, barely. very nice. It's very, very nice that it carries through the entire beer. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. If you're going to call it a session sour, I mean, you could yeah. drink a pint of it. Yeah. Um, But to John's point, it's weird because it, it lives in this in-between, between, like, you know, it, it's not like a Saison. It's not really a traditional sour. It's not like a Berliner Weiss. It, it, it's got a big hot aroma it's got a good <laughs> hot presence you know so like hot flavor too i mean as much as everyone rages against calling something blank ipa because you know the, everybody's doing that with everything like, what else do you call it like some five word descriptor that accomplishes the same thing being like hop character dry hopped sour ale okay well yeah it's well, fucking I, I know breweries ale. that would call it five word descriptor i know breweries that have changed the like a style of a beer just to sell more of it yeah, you know, oh, yeah. it happens. Absolutely. You that know, happened like, to Stone. Oh Stone actually, you know, where they're like, it's just sublimely self-righteous. We don't need to call it IPA. And then after it wasn't selling, they're like, no, guys, this is my IPA, really? And yeah. then it still didn't sell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and, and also, Peter. the beer's called Vincent Van Couch. <laughs> I got that. That's pretty great. Um, this is definitely a lot better than this. Yeah, is I, 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 I like this one. Real bright tropical aromas. Which the tropics, I like a lot. man. Yeah, super pineapple-y. Yeah, everything yeah. I've had from this brewery, if you guys see Odd 13 around, they're they're doing really cool stuff. They have like a comic book style to all their art. They do. Um, right. and, um, but and it's they're spelled O D D 13 cuz yeah. when I when you first did I thought you meant Odd 13. If you know if you're familiar with wire, like there's one Odd, two Odd, it's games right. of wire, but it's O D D. Found so. the brewery back in Odd 13. Oh, I thought it was hey. 30 like a 30 Odd 6. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Same number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, but yeah, really good. Delicious, man. This, yeah. I like this one a lot. This has the aroma of a super dry hopped sour, but it's nowhere <laughs> near as sour as a sour. Yeah. Does that, if that makes sense. Yeah. The, more the, sour than sour. More than. It's like, a, it's like an IPA <laughs> with an edge. This one still has like an interesting rubber smell to me, though. But it's not like that awful burnt rubber. It smells more like like tires, like mm. fresh it's, it's, it still has a bit of a phenolic thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't get that. I wouldn't hmm. call it an IPA either. Yeah, definitely yeah, it's not. It's really light. I mean, it's like a it's a beer that's been a sour beer that's been hopped. Yeah. Will this ever be a category? No. No. 
No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. See, the yeah. thing is, is, like red IPA and black IPA, they still hit like you know eighty percent of the beats that you're supposed to hit with an IPA. The, like the color's just different. You know, this hits one of the beats of an IPA, and that is hoppy. So, I mean, realistically, I think this would fall more into the American Wild Ale category. Yeah, that's exactly. a really yeah. broad category, though. That's like I know every beer over seven percent is American strong ale. Like, yeah, it doesn't really describe anything, right? Yeah, so, right. you're being technically correct and giving less data at that point. You know, it's like if you say sour IPA, you, okay, it's a hoppy sour beer. You get it. It's but hoppy sour beer is kind of an awkward thing to throw around. Yeah, right. Mm, yeah. I don't, I don't know. It, I don't know if I'm with you on that one, but that's okay. I still love you. You're beautiful. There's constantly people who are like, no, we need to go by the letter of the BJCP, and only when they deign to call this a new style will it be something people can write. It's like, no, white IPA. It makes sense. I get it. Like, <laughs> so uh, I was a fan of that beer. I liked it. Yeah, I liked, I liked that one a lot. Uh, yeah. Last up uh, in our hoppy uh, sour flight. Flight, yes. Uh, a flight of dragons. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, never mind. Um, My, oh, do we have, have one or two left? Well, there's two. We have one more hoppy. hoppy one. Oh, got hoppy. it. Got it. Got it. Prairie. We've got some prairie beer happening right now, which I'm excited about. Yes. I'm always glad to drink prairie beer. Is this um, also considered a sour IPA, or is this just a hoppy? They don't. Beer? They don't call it that. They which, call it a dry on. hopped sour ale. Which is what it is. sour IPA is. A little bit, yeah, um, a little bit. Sorry, like, yeah. it yeah. is their funky gold Simcoe. I'm still not um, buying into the sour IPA thing. I'm not. Good on well, you. They, they didn't put the right word on. IPA on there, so or juicy probably. <laughs> so we're I'm still surprised Epic. Enjoy it. I'm surprised Epic didn't bourbon barrel age that as well, just to you know complete the trifecta. <laughs> <of>. <laughs> Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've never been super high on anything from Epic. Like they've been okay. I've, I've had a couple of them that I've really liked. Um, brainless yeah. on peaches. Yeah, the, yeah. The brainless, brainless on peaches. Was yeah, good. The, 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 there's been a couple of the brainlesses that I've liked a lot. Um, their standard stuff has never really drawn. The brainless me in. on Robitussin was not so good. <laughs> nice. Um, Prairie, however, usually knocks out of the park for me. Like for example, this one <laughs> smells awesome. Yeah, it does. Yes. It's like all the Hi, things my that you want to smell. Hi, my name is Brett. Yeah, it has that. Like, it has it has that same pineapple y kind of vibe, which I like a lot. You know, it seems like that combination of like all those like souring bacteria and a lot of dry hops seems yeah. to just produce like pineapple aromas. All those weird esters. You know? Yeah, like pineapple, uh, guava, mango, like that kind of thing. Yep, Super exactly. tropical fruit. Super tropical. The funk really, I think, uh, the dry hoppy going with a funky yeast, I think, really helps. Not just kettle souring for the tartness, but also getting kind of a barrel the character. Brett character. Or and, Brett. Yeah, I think this is probably spent time in a barrel, too. Yeah, it has that like kind of vanilla thing happening on the nose, too. Yeah. Um, so much going on. That's what I love about these guys. It's like every, all of their beers, they have like legit complexity and not like, you know, we're going to add 20 ingredients to make it complex. You know, it's more, it's, more than that, you know? Just, yeah. Yeah, Prairie just, they really, they really hit in all cylinders these days, I think. Well, ever. Honestly. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> that's a really freaking cool label, too. It's a goddamn yeah, good dude. Beer, man. The creepy people God damn, on that's so, so good. They're so creepy, though. They are creepy. There's a lot of people with long creepy. It's like the, It's necks. like the water thing from Cocoon. Not Cocoon. <laughs> from, yeah. um, from Abyss. Oh, nice. Yeah, there yeah? you go. With that's old school. Right? Wow. Um, I am old. <laughs> No, you're not old. Abyss you're not, not compared to me. I mean, I think you're not righty old. You're not righty old. I'm, you're old. Not I'm older than everybody else, but you too. No, 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 none of us can be righty old. I mean, really, nope. who can really? No, nope. <laughs> not not for many years. Jason. Only the Lord Himself, <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Cthulhu, um, um, on the first day created righty. <laughs> nah, it was day three. <laughs> there, were, he had priorities. <laughs> yeah, had to create the earth there and the heavens. And yeah, there, there were those two. <clears throat> that shit. You spent a whole day on your cock, so. <laughs> well, at least all, the, all, all, I'm, all four I'm, and a half inches. So, I'm, 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 it's nice to have an admirer, isn't it? It is. Yeah, the earth, the heavens, righty dirt. That was the order, <laughs> that was the order in which things are created. <laughs> hey, I know my place. <laughs> Just before dirt. Older than dirt. Um, this is a um, lovely. I love this so well executed. It's like this is exactly what I want out of this whole concept, where it's bright, it's tart, 
Mm. You know, it's not sour, but it's definitely like, you know, like I said, tart. It's lively. Um, it's got that nice, bright hoppiness. It's, yeah, this is great. It's got a nice earthy finish on it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so this this did this, this was a little right because it does taste like tastes like Chardonnay barrel or something because it has. Yeah, right. I couldn't find a write up online. Is yeah. there something on it has, the bottom? It has that. No, just say anything. No, about nothing. It. I don't, no, there's I don't, very little information about it yeah. actually. I don't get all. any French oak. I, I assume it's American vanilla. Really? Yeah. No, I get I get like that. The vanilla thing that's super French. Uh, American is that more like cinnamony kind mm. of like baking spice sort of vibe. At least as far as I can tell. Uh, to to really that's like what I get go as broad thing. as possible. Really? Yeah. For me, uh, French oak comes off as pencil shavings, and I get none of that. Okay. What's weird is the Prairie's lack of information online. It bit us on the last uh, one of our last beers we did because we we read the write up for the wrong beer. Yeah, we read the write up from True. Yeah, from the Prairie True collab, and we're like, yeah, there's a lot of peaches in here, and we started talking about it, and then I don't True, think. Well, did we say there was a lot of peaches? Well, we we read it in the write up. Okay, least, okay. But then I'm True, like, I don't get any peaches on True it. responded to us, and they're like, yeah, it was a different collab. There's no peaches in this one, and we're like, oh, oh sorry fuck. guys, thanks for listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for your patronage. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're sorry we got our basic facts wrong. Brew, you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man. Yeah. But no, Prairie. I mean, Prairie. Are we surprised that Prairie makes a good beer at this point? They yeah, no, not at all. It was, it's kind of a given with them. Uh, yeah. Didn't the Prairie Ale like just their basic saison? That was go my rank really high in our saison yeah. showdown. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really I want to say solid. it made the final four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Because they crush. Uh, That's really yummy. That was fucking good, dude. Yeah. I, yeah. I would very happily drink all of that. And, and speaking of like Jesse Friedman and, and the, we, uh, we the Almond X, um, their dry hop sours are really goddamn good. Been, too. They've been really fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what I, I have the Simcoe, which was awesome. I had, uh, I think, Mosaic. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, yeah, if I would have planned this out better, I could have grabbed one of those too. You could have like yeah, a couple of them at yeah. uh, the yeah. bodega. Prairie Ale made it to the final four of our uh, our uh, saison, saison showdown. showdown. Who finally saison. knocked it out? Was it um, saison bread? Was it Boulevard? Was Boulevard saison bread. Yeah, yes. oh, love that. Beer. It was that between was goddamn like, good man. I love the saison bread between Boulevard. It won and, our showdown. Yeah, so it's, we love it too. Uh, opal and Opal. Yeah. Yep, those are the two uh, finalists. Oh, pal. So, yeah, this is great. Uh, you can never go wrong buying a prairie beer, in my opinion. No. It yep. doesn't matter what it is. And they hold up to, you know, the shelf. So if you see them on the shelf. Even their, like, big bourbon barrel aged stuff is really great. Um, like, I did um, just have a double IPA from them. Probably, oh. probably wouldn't want to let that sit on the shelf. No, no. No, yeah. no, no they made them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, prairie made an IPA? Wow. Okay. Prairie uh-huh. Pilsner. Prairie did you guys support Pils? their Kickstarter? Remember oh. they had a Kickstarter to, nope. to buy, like, space to store barrels or something? Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know that they bought a I golf did. course uh, that they're going to turn into a farm, which is ambitious. Right on. I like ambition. Yeah, this is way early. They they had a Kickstarter for like $15,000. Nice. And they made like 25000 wow. or something. They did wow. It. That's how I got my prairie glass. Ambition whales. <laughs> so. That was glass one, whales. That was one of the places I really missed stopping when I went through uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Hmm. They were closed the day I went there, so I just I ended up at oh, uh, Bricktown. I ended up at Take Brick, a selfie in front. Town in Oklahoma City, which was pretty like solid. Did you end up exploring the vibrant brewing scene of Oklahoma? Uh, the only place I stopped was Bricktown in Oklahoma City, but so pretty solid. No. Uh, <laughs> Jason, what's that in your hands there? Uh, last and most certainly not least, uh, I don't think we've done any rur barrel. Rur barrel. The rur barrel. barrel. The barrel. We barrel. have done no rur barrel. Uh, editor John, have we done any rare barrel? No. I don't remember any. Um, so I've, I've, I've barely had any rare barrel. Yeah, I've only really? had them at cool. I got a whole fridge full of rare barrel. Well, you're John fucking righty. That's He's why. He's got a whole wow. barrel full of them. I wish I had a barrel full of them. <laughs> He's a flagon of them. It's quite the rare barrel. I do. I know, a I flagon say, of rare barrel. A, a rare barrel. It was a pretzel necklace, actually. <laughs> That's right. A pretzel. Uh, you know. The correct term for... It's a yeah. D, D pants full of them. <laughs> Cargo pants. I did do the ambassadors of sour, so I got oh. a crap load of Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. And it was I'm, well worth the uh, the money. Nice. Did okay. I ever tell you guys I had this brilliant idea that one day I was just going to, like very like do like a costume of like basic beer festival guy but then i was like nobody will be they'll just be like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah <you're laughs> i was gonna get like some new balance some cargo shorts like a black tuesday shirt a russian river hat and a pretzel necklace 
And was like, yeah, just that guy. No, but, you, but then it became a soft pretzel necklace because you really got to go for it. Right. And then yeah. it's like. You got to put pizza on it. <laughs> pizza, pizza necklace. necklace. <laughs> it only works if you have, a, you have, so like you have five the grease, guys doing You have the, the grease thing. star on your oh, shirt. Oh, <laughs> only if you can do the slow dance like the guy at uh, uh, Ferk Fest last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we uh, talked about the pizza <laughs> necklace before because we said we're going to Kermit guy. the Frog a uh, Kermit the Frog <laughs> neck of pizza. <laughs> Kermit the yeah, Frog neck. Oh, um, so, so yeah. What, yeah, what is this rare barrel beer that we have? It is Forces Unseen, oh. a golden sour aged in oak. Um, it is a blend of three different golden sour aged in oak barrels. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They were fermented with Brett Lactobacillus. Moderately sour and well balanced. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. That's blah, literally blah, blah, what was blah, on the label. Blah blog. And this is a good one. Oh good. Uh, this is one of their regular ones. I think yeah. a friend of mine just grabbed it at the tasting room for me, so I didn't have to go to any great depth. Do you have a lot of rare barrel, Jason? Uh, no, that's my only bottle. Okay. Well, but, thanks for sure. Thank you. I we, I know a guy though. He's got a bunch. It's me, John. Me too. Got a whole closet full. Yeah. No, it's actually in the, all in the, the fridge. It's got a whole fridge full. I do. So this is what French oak smells like to me. Okay. So I, I wish so, I, I wish I had known. I would have brought my. Uh, I have this. I have a random bottle of uh, beer from a sour brewery that's not yet opened in San Fernando Valley. Hmm. Oh. Salador Ales, but it's at the house. I did not Salador. know. Salador. Oh, sweet. We we're going to be doing sours. The Celador guys, they uh, won the, the homebrew comp at the brewery. Mm -hmm. so, sounds like I should uh, um, go through the cellar. 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, I just hear so many numbers right We're now. We're auctioning off your soul. <laughs> right? I just like. Just exactly what's happening. Do, well, do I have 42? Do I have 42? 42? I have 71. 71. 71. 71. 71. 71. 71. 71. 71. One in the back. 17. 43. 43. 43. It's, it's like a beautiful mind. Just like, right? <laughs> just like when Bart wasn't using his, Jason isn't using his, and he's going to give it away. Yep. A buck. <laughs> <laughs> Sold to the kid over there for a buck. <laughs> Uh, mm. Yeah, you're right. Say it. We're super oaky, real, real oaky. Little I like it. Do they, do they put a batch number on there? This Apparently is it's a. Um, this is a blend number twelve. Oh wow, that's a lot of blends. So, this reminds me of uni. I've never had uni. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's the uh, looks like cat tongue. Um, it looks like sea salty sea urchin row. Oh, sea urchin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really tasty. I'm. I'm it's got the salinity. Uh, just bursting salinity. Um, What's that called? Again? Yeah. See, like uni, uni. Mm -hmm. See now, this just see this smells juicy. Uni is my favorite manga. Yeah, this is really like it, it's not. Um, uh, honestly, Rare Barrel actually has a bit of a reputation for really acidic sours. Uh, this isn't that though. No. Yeah, it, it's 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 very in the middle. Like it's it, they say it's like a, got a light tartness, but I like when it comes to sourness, this is like smack dab in the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. This yeah, is good of, stuff. of sour beer. Quote. It just unquote. takes some time. Yeah. Because you're yeah, in the middle of the is, ride. This is probably one of the best rare beer, rare beer beers I've had. Yeah, yeah, rare beer. It's, really hard it's, for me it's to got say. it's got a touch of acetic acid. Yeah, it's but a the touch bit. is what makes it good. Yeah. Um, it adds the complexity. It really yeah. does feel like saying Roger when you fucking say rare barrel every time. <laughs> like, I mean, it's really hard to say. Yeah. For me, like, uh, it's not like saying Bud. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I stick. Can you find some rare beer bud. over there? Yeah, it's like you one of those. Say it you, you you always sound drunk when you say rare barrel. Rare barrel. <laughs> it's the rare rare barrel. barrel. Yeah, where are you going from? Where are you, where are you leaving tonight? Heading home? Yeah, I was just over at the rare barrel. <laughs> Why don't you step out the car, sir? <laughs> <laughs> um, put your, put your, this is kind of chewy. This line. To me. I don't it know. is chewy. Yeah, it's, it's, kinda, got, it's a little chewy. Oh, it's, got, it's got a little bit of acid. It's um, on. pretty clear for a sour too. It, it looks like a just kind of like. If you would go to like a random brew pub and order a blonde ale, that's pretty much what this looks like without yeah. the head. It's a little bit golden. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get acetone. Hmm. Mm. That sounds like you. Are, have you been? Are you? I, 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 I was removing the nail yeah, polish from my say, toes. Are you taking nail polish off right now? Because um, I'm going to paint them a new pretty color. Yeah. And flowers. You go, are you going teal? Uh, no. What the fuck do you think I am? Magenta. Chartreuse. <laughs> wrong with you no red Wait, really obviously. what's wrong no, with me no, is that a, no. is that a rhetorical question die. he's definitely gonna do black because emo obvi thank Obs. you natalie you're welcome uh are you Ma gonna, tr are you gonna trim red? 
The mat, M A T T E. Exactly. Well, I was going to go mauve, but. Mauve. 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 Or chartreuse. Mauve. Sounds like, sounds like the kind of color that your Aunt Irene would get on her toenails. <laughs> I'm going to do some mauve. I got mauve on my toes and on my fingernails. Puce. This is going for a little bit of a change. I've had black oh, for God, years. I dropped I can't a nickel in the machine, didn't I? Puce. And then yes, there's did. mauve. Um, <laughs> stop talking about me, John. So this says peaches and lemon zest. It has notes of. Does it really? Yeah. I mean, I can. It, to yeah, me, it, it translates as apricot. Love, yeah. It tastes I more apricot had than bad peaches. Beer from these guys yet. Some apricot. I, it's a little more, more quai. A little bit of quai. I actually have a beer with apricot. I, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but it was phenomenal. Um, a- apricot? No. Map, map of the sun. No, from Polycot. Rare, rare Barrel. The, oh. Um, oh, um. I think pretty much anything with apricots in it is going to be a win for me. Yeah, it's pretty a map, much. Of, map of the sun. Okay, okay there you go. Map yeah. of the sun, yes. Yeah. So, good good pull, Greg. Yeah, yeah. man. I uh, know my rare beer beers. Rare beer beer? Officer, I know my rare beer beers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tell it to the judge, please. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, pal. <laughs> yeah. uh, but overall, like, it's really wonderful. Quite right, tasty. Right. Yeah, um, sticking by the uni thing, man. It's very uni like. It's a rare show that we don't have. Um, oh, wait. No, we started with Monkish. I was going to say we didn't have a Southern California beer. We did. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we did Monkish. We did. It's okay. Uh, well, good stuff all around. Yeah, from uni. Well, yeah, I guess you get to Monkish. Like the epic one. No, yeah, except for that. Yeah, that didn't mm. go so well. And I still don't buy this sour IPA thing. Yeah, no, me I'm not but, buying the style. Yeah, but uh, you'll drink them as long as they call it yeah, something. Dry, different. dry hops are. I'll drink no, it either I'll way. Drink a sour dry IPA hops are all day. But let's also keep in mind that it was it wasn't um, the epic the only one that actually says India Pale Ale on it, and that was the yeah. only one that was terrible. So yeah, yeah, because yeah, even the Lagunitas one um, that which, was crushing. Yeah, me man. and Greg got to try that at the Lagunitas uh, um, Azusa Sneaky Brewery Azusa event. party. Yeah. But they, they have a beer called Aunt Sally that's um in the same wheelhouse and it's really good. That actually. was super right crushable. Nice, yeah. nice. So wait, like, it's a kind of sour. It smelled like a bag of hops of. and it was tart. Oh, I can't wait. Do they have any equipment in that place or is it just no. empty buildings? No, no, they have walls, big building. man. Yeah. Walls and floors and construction dust. I think the, the walls are equipment up. now. They got walls and floors, in. man. That's awesome. Walls and floors, man. <laughs> and this is the way dank, you start. Dank walls. Everyone, <laughs> everyone just stalls with, starts with walls and floors. That's going to be their first beer offering is dank walls. Dank walls. I like that. <laughs> is it just one building or <laughs> three buildings? Three, three buildings. buildings. Yeah. It's three. It's a it's a complex. There's an outdoor concert arena. I'd say it's a campus. Nice. Amphitheater, nice. Yes. It's a campus. There's it's literally like a, an, an outdoor event does facility. Does it look like a spaceship? Use. It's like a hippocampus. No, it's not. It's not like an Apple UFO. It is a very hip campus. That's true. <laughs> it's it's right. a water horse? Is it a hippocampus? And, and, uh, it's a hipster we campus. Met, uh, Karen Hamilton, which is uh, Tony McGee's sister, is uh, married to Ray Daniels of uh, oh, Cicerone fame. really? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good honor. Not right only on. Cicerone fame, he's the guy that invented it. Pretty much. So. Yes. Uh, right on. Well, if you want to find us online, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. You can find all the information on fourbrewers.com. If you want to support the show, support the show. Yes. Support if you us. want to support the show, support can, the show. You can go to patreon.com. If you like what you've been hearing from us and uh, you think it's valuable and, and worth chucking us a few quarters, go to <laughs> patreon.com slash fourbrewers. Chuck it. Take it away, man. Just chuck it out. <laughs> Sounds like chuck it, uh, rate us chuck on it a quarter. Old, chuck it a quarter. Rate us on the old iTunes. Uh, the tunes of I uh, <laughs> go there and give us the five stars because the we want. The tunes of I. Greg, Greg with like, like a. I met him, I Greg, with like four a little stars. sleep cap and a to... lantern. He's like, rate us in the tunes of I. <laughs> Um, uh, does someone want to promote then, uh, uh, Cheap Beer cheap, Corner? Cheap, uh, cheap, corner. Beer, cheap Beer Corner. Jason, go. Uh, yeah, welcome to Cheap Beer Corner, where I make Matt drink cheap beer. <laughs> no, I meant just promote it. Oh, not actually, oh, not actually okay. Do it. Just um, talk about I've it. I've got something I could probably pull up real quick. I'll just run out. Well. <laughs> uh, go on YouTube and check out Cheap Beer Corner. You can go to CheapBeerCorner.com, or you can uh, go to the Four Brewers uh YouTube uh, channel and subscribe to that because that would be awesome. You can go to fourbrewers.com slash YouTube or cheatbeercorner.com, making it easy for All you. the URLs, man. Right well, on. Yeah. Um, and then Dink URLs. if you want to get in touch with us directly, you can hit us up at feedback at fourbrewers.com and brew the shit out of it. Just yell four brewers at your computer and it'll bring you to <laughs> us. Alexa, Siri, four brewers, four brewers. podcast. 